Hi, I'm Jonathan. You're, I'm playing guitar in Graveyard, and you're listening to Broken Neck Radio. Hey guys, this is Broken Neck Radio with DJ Hordes in here with Jonathan from the band Graveyard in Vancouver, British Columbia. So you guys are on tour, big tour for you guys. Yeah. Uh, any highlights from the tour so far? Uh, you know, every every night is a is a special night, I guess. And you know, it, you know we have we have the opportunity to watch uh, Earthless every night, so that's you know, great bunch of guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, it's been good all the way. Cool. Yeah. Oh, your new album's obviously all came out in September. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how have sales been for that one? Uh, that that's. Uh, I, I, I have no clue. I hope it's all right, you know. But you know, we we just play. You know, just we play. play. We awesome, man. That's that's really that good. So on this new album, we hear there's lots of different. You know, you hear lots of different styles of playing on there. Just uh, if you can tell us, you know, what made this album different from the first three you guys put out. Uh, I guess you know we we recorded in a, in another studio when. Right. Uh, Trulls came back into the band, so um, yeah, I mean that that was the biggest changes, I guess. Right. But uh, we we just we didn't think we didn't have a plan about where where to go or how to sound or anything. But we uh, you know we, we tried to make as good songs as possible. Awesome, yeah. awesome. And, you know what are you, what are your suit? What have your uh, sorry? What are some of your musical influences? You know, bands and people that have influenced you and in your style of playing. Uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of lot of different music, I guess. You know, every, everything from punk, punk rock and death metal and uh, yep. you know, the blues, early blues stuff from the thirties, or you know, yeah, how, everything in between. Howie Wolf and Slayer, I guess. Awesome. We usually say that. So I mean, for for this album, the new album, uh, what creative process sort of went into writing material for it? Uh, we we took uh, this time we had uh, the opportunity to take some time off to actually write songs which we have never right. you know done before. So that was uh, uh, we we actually felt more you know confident because we had more time to write songs. So Excellent. we just yep. uh, we made the songs. We took half a year off and made made all the songs and then just recorded them during Excellent. two weeks in Sweden. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And then I mean right now there's that huge revival of music from you know the late seventies, early late sixties is like the early seventies. Uh, you know, tell us more about your sound and why, you know, you choose to play in that style. Uh, I think uh, maybe maybe it used to be more more of a choice to to play that kind of music, but nowadays we just play whatever we what we, we would like to to hear ourselves. You know? yeah. yeah. So it's because in, in I was talking to one guy earlier, and, and I told him that the radio is you know kind of so so in Sweden really. So yeah, if you, if you want to yeah. hear something, you got to make it yourself kind of. Yeah, like I work for yeah. Broken Neck Radio. We're based out of here internet radio station but um, okay. most of our listeners are in Europe All right. we get a lot uh, more listeners in Europe than we say do we in North America right? I okay. do on my show I do mostly like the doom metal and the kind of hard rock stuff or the other DJs they do more you know metal speed metal death metal and stuff but I've always been okay. myself a big fan of you know the kind of slower heavy blues is what I call it yeah yeah then obviously my next question, you know, the music scene coming out of Sweden, you know, has amazing bands. You know, from the start, did you guys ever think you'd get to where you got from, you know, when you put up your demo on MySpace? Uh, Years sorry, ago? If, if we thought... This you know, you get this far just playing music when you put no, your demo up on MySpace? No, no, I, I, uh, I mean, I joined the band a few months later than, right, than right. that, but uh, I, I think, uh, you know, this is way... F- Father than you know any of us ever expected. So, yeah, well, that's uh, awesome. We, I mean, we've I'm been doing a lot of fun stuff and supporting big bands. So yeah. I mean, the first time I ever guys yeah. heard you was uh, Helsinki Blues, and that's just it blew right. me away. It's like, right. yeah. These are the guys, right? So <laughs> I've been following you guys ever since. Okay. Uh-huh. Since I heard that, so nice to hear. Yeah. And then of course your previous album. Uh, so how how has playing music, you know, positively affected your life? You know your journey and where you're going. Uh, I think uh, you know it's it's made um, 
it's decided everything, I guess. You know, right. since this is what we do now, and we're very fortunate to to do this and mm -hmm. you know travel around and play music, which yeah. is do what you love. Yeah, it's a dream, really. Cool. And and um, of course, it's uh, if you have family at home, it's you know you you have to you know try to adjust as much as possible yeah. with everything and schedule stuff. Do you have, but do you have family and kids? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got two uh, two small boys. At home awesome. My wife. Yeah. I got four children myself. All right. <laughs> Whole bunch of them. Yeah. Three boys, one little girl. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's great. <clears throat> yeah. Kids is it hard great. being away from the family, though? Yeah, it is. You know, road yeah. life is tough, right? Yeah, but at the same time, it's it's the best best job, best combination you yeah. can have. Because when, when, I'm, when we're at home, we just, you know, we can be at home the whole time. And, right. Yeah, so it's... You still kind of get to be home more than if she if I would have a regular seven to five job. Yeah, I mean so that's yeah. what I have regular oh, job yeah. during the day and yeah. do the radio station stuff at nighttime. But it's a passion. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. don't get paid for it, but I get to do cool things because of it. Meet a yeah. lot of cool musicians and stuff. Yeah. That's cool. And then uh, I was going to ask you guys about your videos. A lot of your videos, you know, look like they're straight out of the seventies, <laughs> which is yeah. which is awesome. I love the way you guys do your videos. All and right. uh, you know, if you could tell us more about them, uh, we, to be honest, we, we haven't had much input in the video making except right. uh, for the apple and the tree, where we had some, some idea from the start was just you know shit flying in slow motion all the yeah. time. But then yeah. it got a story as well, uh, I guess, or you know, some more stuff right. stuff added to it, but. Um, that's uh, otherwise. I, I think it's been uh, the video directors, you know, making Ooh, the. Yeah. Uh, we had this. Uh, uh, what's that? Uh, sorry, I forgot sure. the name. Who, who is the director? Lille Hans Slekting, so the Endless Night. Yeah, Volgers. Uh, Volgers in the last name, at least. Right. Uh, and uh, fuck, I can't remember the names of the guys. <laughs> Right. Sorry. Do you guys give him input? And he, <laughs> hey, no worries. Do you guys give him input, and then he comes up with a concept for you, or is it? Yeah, I mean, we we haven't um, we haven't really had any input uh, otherwise than the for the apple and the tree video. That that's it. You know, right. we we had this kind of you know anti video idea with just you know the, right. the lady grabbing in the pile of shit, and that, yep. that was it, kind of. But then, yeah. Mm -hmm. I do like the video for Helsinki Blues. Yeah, yeah. That one there, kind of done in the yeah, black and white, that's like the nice, 70s. Yeah. yeah, I like oh, that I, one. I like that too, yeah. That's the uh, Volgir stuff. Right, done okay, good. One, yeah. 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 And obviously, after parting ways with TP Records, who originally so signed you guys, <laughs> and then moving to Nuclear Blast yeah. Records, was that a positive change? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, they have their. They've been really good to us, and they yeah. they uh, they just do a very good job with their part, and they right. let us handle our part. So it's very it's kind very do the thing, easy. What you guys want to yeah. do? Awesome. No no uh, you know no pushing or no you know it's just easy to, to right. work with them. So that's that's good. I know in uh, 2008 you uh, toured with Clutch. And then in yeah. 2013, you two were with Soundgarden. How was that? It was good. Yeah, it was very nice, and uh, it's always fun to to play with, you know, these huge band that, you know, bands that you just. I, for example, we we those guys and and Deep Purple, which I've never even imagined seeing live, and right. we, we got to support those, and you know, it's yeah. just uh, it's been a it's been a trip all the way, and it's been a really. Really not, nice Excellent. One. I know I yeah. seen Clutch play two years ago here. All right. Yeah. Really, you know, twenty years to see them play live, and I finally got to them. Which is okay. Amazing. Yeah. They were the most. Yeah, they were they were really good. They were doing with Mastodon at that point. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. Is really, really good. Okay. Yeah, we did uh, the the U.S. tour with uh, Mastodon and Clutch. Yeah. Uh, Just Mom, amazing, amazing guys. Yeah. Really, really nice and great musicians. Yeah. Yeah. And Soundgarden in 2013. Yeah, How yeah. was that? That was great as well. You know, they 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 were very friendly and you know treated us with you know just like any other band. And yeah, it was very nice. And then you, you're a little, you know, you stand back a little. And, right. You know, you're a little on your own. 
in yeah. your own corner, but right. you know, that's cool. You know, it's first time I see Soundgarden. I think I was fourteen years old. All right, <laughs> yeah. uh, it's young. Now I'm older. <laughs> then you know, you got any advice for you know up and coming bands and you know starting out in the music business? What's the best way to sort of go through it, get out there? I don't know. I I think it's a matter of just being in the right place at the right time and just do do it because you love yeah. it and nothing else you know that's I think you can get very far if you just like what you do mm. don't think too much about right. what other people think about it set your goals have your passion see where that kind of takes you yeah yeah and have fun you know that's that's important excellent excellent yeah. then my last question you know what are the plans for the band for the future once this tour is finished you know what are you, what are you guys going to do we're going to we're going to come or we're going to go back to the US in right. January so uh, yeah I mean we, we'll bring Spiders a Swedish rock band with us so, cool. to open up and uh, yeah they're really good so um, it's going to be a good tour and then I guess uh, festivals and you More know festivals yeah yeah some some uh, Scandinavian shows and Excellent. All right. Yeah. I know one of my favorite bands out of Sweden is Entombed, obviously. All right. Yeah, mine They're too. Like yeah. National heroes. Love, love Entombed. I know the years ago, uh, really they did uh, the Unreal Estate, where they played at the, the Swedish Ballet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever heard of that one? Yeah, I did. Yeah. And they got uh, emailed a few times from the Swedish Ballet to come and play a show and it was going to be chore- a ballet show would be choreographed to it and they thought it was a joke oh yeah, yeah, yeah and then they actually finally did it and they sold eight shows out completely yeah yeah so it was it yeah. was a cool always, thing yeah I've always thought of Entombed as more of a heavy blues band yeah yeah if you listen to a lot of the riffs it's a lot yeah. of heavy blues right I agree it's, it's a lot of so, Black Sabbath and blues so. yeah that old Black Sabbath sound excellent well I think that's a wrap alright yeah thank you for